yeah. they are people that he's interacted with yeah. who do not represent the Muslim community whatsoever. For example, uh, I'm not going to uh, give that person more credibility, but someone that supports extremist groups like ISIS, nobody represents, uh, nobody takes this person seriously. And Douglas Murray would give this person serious amount of time. Why? Because he wants people to believe that this person represents Islam. When it comes to the average Muslim, then it's like, oh, you know, uh, you are known to me and th this type of thing. And you could you could sense the fear in the tweets. I don't know if you felt that. Yeah, I mean, like I said before, man, these these guys, they're, they're not worth even... I, I think with, they're not worth this much energy. Like, if I see a tweet of theirs, you know, and the tweet army, I think, that we have on Twitter. It's a big army. Which now is getting stronger. Well, much Well-disciplined army. You know, we need, to, <laughs> we, need to, we need to continue it, continue this onslaught on them, embarrass them and put, put them on the back foot. Because for the longest of times, they have been trying to push... Their narratives against the religious narrative. They did have a, a time where I would call it their golden age, 2012, which was about 20, yeah, 28, uh, 2008 to 2015, like maximum. And then like the stagnation period, 2013, 14, and then the decline, which is now, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I feel like you know uh, that time is no longer. Uh, the, the momentum is actually starting to shift in our favor. I believe the momentum is starting to shift seriously in our favor. Mm. And I think this is actually the first time that I know that in Islamic Dawah that um, people are being, they know who, who we are, who the traditionalist Muslims are. They know that we're no we, a small number and that we, we know that we have a voice that needs to be listened to. Mm. And that's it. And, and this is the golden age of, I believe it's going to be the golden age of Dawah. Internet Dawah in and, the West. And you know what we'd like to do, and I think this is very important, Hijab, you alluded to it earlier, yeah? But it's not about a few people it's an entire culture it's an entire system an ecosystem and a if you like a mini society online like for example this has happened when i'm interacting with uh opponents of islam and this type of thing someone will will, will uh dm me and say to me oh there's this particular reference or they'll do this they'll do that or you use this thing in your video you get all these people helping and supporting and retweeting yeah. and influencing and brothers and sisters and everybody that's watching online this stuff is oxygen for the people to be able to thrive how would you be able to survive in this online world without without these people? So, you know, we would really want to thank everybody uh, that's it's watching. Every, everyone then. here, you know, there's a beautiful hadith of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I'm going to pray after this as well. I'll let you take a couple of questions and I'll come back, yeah? Sure. But where it says, Jahidun mm mushirakina -hmm. bi anfusikum wa amwalikum wa alsinatikum. You know, that do jihad, struggle in the way of Allah with yourselves and your wealth and your tongues. Now, if you really think about it, how can you do jihad with yourself? Uh, how can you do, sorry, how can you do jihad with your tongues? Well, the Quran gives us indication. You know, don't, 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 don't obey the disbelievers and do jihad or do struggle with them, with it, i.e. the Quran, against them. A big jihad. So now the Quranic narrative, our aim is to bring forward the Quranic narrative, the arguments of the Quran, the arguments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the wider community. So we can fulfill what the prophets came to fulfill, really. You know, all of the prophets. Like what Lord do you have to worship except for him? That's what we're here for. And everybody listening to this stream right now needs to be not just a passive a passive recipient end user to this what i'm saying but we all need to start taking active roles we're living in an age where there's actually no excuse we can make so much change we can have so much change on on society by simply commenting on i didn't realize that these people <laughs> <laughs> with all due respect, like they care about the comments, they respond to tweets. The every you can have someone who's relatively got no followers. Yeah, and we're not going to mention names, but you know their comments and stuff can comments and tweets and stuff. Every single one counts. Yeah, every little helps. You know, in this cause, you know, uh, every like, every share, every tweet, every comment. 
mm. that shows support and, and uh, goes against uh, the adat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, yeah, is the, the enemies of Allah. You know, this is what we need. And so it's only a matter of time. And if we can't do this alone, and it's never been um, Muhammad Hajab and Sabur Ahmad and Amran Hussein and Hamza Sources and Ali Dawa and Zishan from Smile to Jannah and Hashim uh, from Squeeze and Mansoor uh, and, and so on. It's never been these people doing anything. It's never been us doing it uh, individually or even as a group. It's always been because of you guys at the background here mm. watching at home and helping from virtually from wherever you Absolutely. are, from whatever countries you are. It's, it has to be like that. So make sure wherever we are, that you are there as well. Wherever on, t on Twitter, on YouTube, on Facebook, you guys, we're basically, you have to consider yourself junud, soldiers, actually. Mm. Consider yourself soldiers. Can, why not? Consider yourself no longer you are... You're in a state of rebut. Because this is, of... you know, this, people nowadays, they watch Netflix and they watch films and they watch the protagonist beat the antagonist and the hero and the anti-hero and the themes and all that. What we're offering to you and what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the messenger is is not just a film to watch, but is a is a role to play. You can be part of this movie. Allah. Allah you are the character. You can Allah be the main Allah. character. You know. In a story that started fourteen hundred years ago. In a story that started four hundred years ago. Allah. But Allah. we're all part, we have to be all part of it together. Mm. And we need to put the disagreements to the side. And we need to, you know, all these things. And we need to, it has to, we all have to do it together. Because I think we are on the brink of snapping open and cracking open and elevating and turning a new um, turn that will actually put the dawah mainstream. I believe we could do that in like five, ten years. Yeah. The dawah, which it has to be mainstream for it to be understood by the mainstream population. So we can spread malakum min ilahin ghayr to the people because there's too much people now for there to be one or two people in, in a town spreading it we need full-on participation all of you are, can't be just watching youtube videos and seeing people you all need to do dawah by spreading it and the prophet sallam, he said he said which means to spread spread some, spread about me if it's one one ayah now it's so easy, you have to press one button. How long does it take you to like a video? How long does it take you to, to make a tweet? Be honest about it. It might take you 10 seconds, 15. We're asking for 10, 15 seconds of your life. And absolutely, I want you to add something, yeah? If I was to say to you, this is the way, the truth, what would you say? Absolutely. And the life, right? Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, so... You, th these terms, yeah. these Christianized terms, everybody knows. Yeah. For God so loved the world. Yeah. 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 Do you say? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Jesus died so that you could be saved. Saved. Why is it that the average person understands the basic tenets of these missionaries? Because they've repeated it. They've hammered it in. So the most hardcore atheist and the most isolated Muslim who's living away from uh, these discourses, they would know, okay, that's them. They've popularized it to a level. Have we popularized La ilaha illallah? No. So they've, popu they've popularized jihadism or uh, hijab. or uh, They've popularized what they want to. So we need to create a situation where rather than, say, say for example, Richard Dawkins, rather than him basically saying, um, you know, the Muslims, him basically saying the word Tawheed, him actually saying the word Tawheed or another uh, opponent of Islam actually saying, well, you know, Muslims have wala wal bara. Like they need to start understanding our terminologies. We're not a small fish. We're almost 25, 20, 25 percent of the world's population. So why is it that our main tenants aren't there in the part of the discourses? Right. People need to understand that. Islam is a force that's here to stay and you need to engage with it. It's not enough to simply say, okay, we're going to ignore these Muslims and we're going to talk to these liberal Muslims who, by the way, you know, when they push out these liberal Muslims on TV or, you know, these popularizers do, who bloody listens to them? They represent nobody. They absolutely represent nobody. So what we need to do is we need to be able to articulate our worldview in a way 
that the traditionalist Islamic perspective is taken as normative Islam, as opposed to the situation where right now anything normative they're trying to say, oh, that's extreme or that's extreme. Like we need to actually own that discourse. And you know, we get all this thing about, oh, we don't control Sky News, we don't control BBC, we don't control Fox News. Nobody even watches those things anymore. Social media is far greater than any of these platforms. And there is no or little to none restrictions. What restrictions do we have? So when people complain about the media, that worked 20 years ago. Today, do you think that's even a valid excuse when people say, well, we don't have the media with us? But like you said, we control yeah. everything. You complain about the media, but when you have a chance to change it, you, you don't put your money where your mouth is. Mm. Now, I'm speaking to the people right now because I, I personally think based on the events that have happened in the next last few months and the events that will, believe me, think happen in the next six months as well, with the Dawah, that this, we have to work as a group, as a family. We have to have a collective sense of mission. We can't think of it as, oh, let them do it. The fusion of responsibility, um, the free rider problem or whatever it is, yeah? Mm. It can't be that. I it's, like that, I like that. Yeah, we, yeah. We, no, yeah, like, it, we, we need you as much as you need us. As much as we need each other. Yeah, and this is Al Muslim the Muslim Kalbunyan. And that's what it is. That the Muslim to the Muslim is one one building. Uh, so I so just before that, like for example, this new brother came, Detective O'Will. Then you get Halal Homa. Mm. You know, you get Mukid Khan. You get these, you know, there's so many of them, Muhammad Hadib. These are and the we people see their names. we, we see, see their names. we know who they are. We know that these Yeah, because th these yeah. are the these are the these are the, um, the hard cores, these are the loyalists, these are the front line soldiers. Mm -hmm. Now you can decide to be a front line soldier or not, because there's there's all different kind, we're all family here, we're all but the front this I know that not everyone's this is, I'm not trying to make this video a hundred thousand views. Mm -hmm. But it's not, if I make this video 100,000 views, it's not going to be as effective as if I'm speaking to the people that I know every week we're speaking to. Yeah. Because yep. these are the guys that. This is your we, tribe. This is the tribe, right? Because we have to understand something. Imam about Mura, yep. Yeah. We are the ones that are going to make the difference. It has to be us. Mm. One, we can. We are the vanguard. We we are the vanguard. And then after that, we have whoever it is after it. La yastawi minkum man anfaqa min qabl lil fathi wa qatil. So Allah, he says in the Quran, he says, non-equivalent to uh, are you who gave money before the conquest and fought before the conquest of Mecca. They are higher in rank than the ones that fought after mm -hmm. and conquered. So we, this is this is your chance to be on the front line. Like I said, what's the call to action? Simply, comments, tweets, likes, shares. Um, I, the enemies of Islam are known. The ones who are attacking Islam, do it with 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 precision. Even every tweet, every comment you make, every dislike, every like, everything you do, that is in the direction of Dawah. Inshallah, every single one of them, it will be. Like a serious uh, sadaqa, and it will be a serious jihad. It's struggling. This is the, the, the jihad of today. We're, we're struggling with the pen. We're struggling with the tongue. We're struggling with our words. We're struggling with our argument. We're tilka hujatuna. Atayna Ibrahim ala qawmihi. Narfa'u darajatin man nasha. Allah says that in the Quran. After, you know, subhanAllah, after Abraham, wahajahu qawmu. When his qawm, his people, argued with him. Do you argue with me with Allah and he's the one who guided me? And then after continues, that we are the ones who gave the arguments to Abraham against his people. We, we raise and rank whoever we want. We've got the arguments from the Quran. We have the, we have the wasail. We have the instruments. Why is really stopping you? Why you are not the? Are you the kind of person that, if had you been at the time where there was actual defensive, uh, physical stuff to get involved in, would you have got involved in it? When the truth of the matter is that you can't even uh, share and like and subscribe. Yeah, we have to ask ourselves the question. Oh, you can make a thousand and one excuses. Oh, but this brother he makes this mistake and that brother makes that mistake. Who's not going to make mistakes? That are going to make dawah. 
Who's not going to make mistakes? Are you going to work out? Are you going to wait another five to ten years for someone to accrue the same level of notoriety as whoever's in the dawah has accrued, in order for you to back them? So, are we going to put ourselves five to ten years back so that whoever you want, who, whoever you would have preferred to be in the position of dawah now, can be in that position of dawah so that you may support them? You're wasting all of our time with your excuses, your phony baloney excuses. You're wasting all of our time. Yeah, having people that are, have akhta, but have already made the strides, is better than having no one at all. And so, take, get on the train. I'm saying get on the dawah train, because I tell you the next station is golden age. That's the next station. Mm. Now you can either get off with us, or get out. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Let me pray now. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs>